Ladies and gentlemen, Cheryl Cran, get her up here, guys. She is a rock star. I'm so happy to be here and really pleased to be joining all of you. And I have to say a little bit humbled because I stand before a room full of people who are already showing leadership, who are already successful, who are already doing great things. We need to be better people. We need to be better humans. We need to lead, engage, influence, inspire. That's where we are at this juxtaposition of the timing of everything we've been through. So the point is here, everyone leads and needs change leadership skills. We have been through more change in the last few years than any of us would have experienced in the previous decade. And we're talking ongoing disruption, increase in mergers, acquisitions, businesses going out of business, businesses growing and becoming more successful, entrepreneurs learning to be more adaptable, agile, more inventions. We are in a renaissance. There has never been a better time than post-pandemic for more innovation, excitement, energy around what's possible. And we're seeing that happen on multiple scales but the leadership mindset that we need to have is really we have to look at things from multiple intelligences Harvard Business Review a few years ago said that a lot of leaders used to focus on IQ he or she that was the most intelligent had the highest IQ was the most valuable no tr not true there are actually multiple intelligences that every single one of you in this room has that you bring to play for your success and what we want to do is leverage multiple intelligences so that we can increase our ability to do what we do at the highest level possible. Some political events, we can also see it as a necessary stage of transition towards creating a new future. And if we start to look at it that way, we get less depressed and less frustrated and less reactive, and we get more proactive and more elevated and more motivated and more empowered. Well, there'll be some polling in my presentation, so you'll need your phones ready. Point your camera at the QR code. I'll guide you as we get there. I'm looking to continue asking you for your intelligence. And your ability to share what you have is your ability to greater success. And then lastly, future creative people results, 17% of you. One of the opportunities for leaders in today's market, and remember, everyone's a leader. She was recognized as the number one influencer by Analytica when it comes to talking about this topic. What does the future of work look like? What we want to get to as far as creating the future is we individually, and I really passionately believe this, that the future is created by us as individuals. And as we make change, as we progress, as we evolve, then we're evolving others. The future is now. Traditional businesses, I think, are really at that transitional point where they're looking at how we've been doing business and then what do we do to remain relevant and competitive as we move forward. If that's the case, then we have to look at ourselves. We have to shine the mirror, look at the reflection and say, okay, what am I doing to contribute to that future? I feel like leaders today have to be psychologists in many ways, understanding people at the highest level possible, understanding their generation, understanding their gender, understanding their culture, understanding their work style, and not pushing up against it, but seeing it as an opportunity for us to all learn from each other and to grow. Most of us think that we have a positive mindset. Most of us think that we're agile, and that's true. And as masters of what we do, we want to continually improve. That continuous improvement piece is what energizes me. It's what keeps me going. It's what all of us live for is that growth and learning. And that's what the current conditions are forcing us all to do. Learn, grow, share, collaborate, and develop ourselves to the next level. If you're in the share zone, like if you've elevated your mindset, if you've self-resourced yourself so that you're flexible and pliable and adaptable and you don't get rattled very easily and you're more responsive than you are reactive, then you are firmly in the share zone. How you know you're in the share zone most of the time is you feel actually what we call positive stress. You feel like you're in flow. Hi everyone, really nice to have you here and thank you so much for your time and attention. I know this this whole uh, hybrid working from wherever you are right now is uh, a challenge and so I appreciate your time and focus. We need leaders, teams, people who can elevate their perspectives and behaviors. We need more people locally in their roles to see themselves as the bringer of motivation, the bringer of light, the bringer of solutions. We need more people like that. And in my book, Super Crucial Human, I talk about this. The next needs you. It needs us to be better humans. 
I love Maya Angelou's quote, no better, be better, do better. That's my mantra. It's like everything we do, if I'm learning and growing and evolving and I'm holding myself accountable, then I'm, I'm feeling really, really optimistic about the future.